Welcome, I'm Rich Pogen. I'm the Board of Directors of Good News for Israel and Evangelical Outreach to Jewish People. And I'm here with Don Finto, the uh, founder of the Caleb Company. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly uh, I consider a legend in his own time, author of a couple of books that have been translated. Uh, one of them is in how many languages? One of them is in about 11 languages now, yeah. Uh, amazing. And uh, I'm gonna, uh, Don, I'm gonna hit you with a question that um, uh, I think is, uh, uh, might be a little controversial. New Testament, Old Testament. People think of a today, Gentiles today, think of a testament as a will. Most people, a lot of people have wills. And when you have a new will, the old will is obsolete. And a lot of my Gentile friends say to me, well, it's the New Testament and the old is obsolete. What do you say? Jeremiah 31 says, I'm going to give you to Israel a new covenant. He doesn't say testament, he says covenant. I've actually taken my own Bible, struck through the word testament and put the word covenant. Because you're exactly right. If, the, if God gave us a new testament, we might as well destroy the Old Testament. But he didn't give us a new testament, he gave us a new covenant. The Mosaic covenant brought us to the new covenant. The Noah covenant is still there. The Davidic covenant is still there. Covenants are with God are eternal when he makes them eternal. But a testament becomes no longer valid or no longer needed. So you're exactly right. I mean, we're, it's a new covenant. And that new covenant in Jeremiah was given to the Jewish people. Our Gentile friends are grafted in. Absolutely. Through faith in Yeshua, Jesus Christ. That's right. And he was the completion of that covenant. That's right. He said, he said I didn't come to destroy the law, which would have been the covenant under Moses, but to fulfill it. And he did. In fulfill the feasts, all this kind of thing, or fulfill part of them. Thank you.